welcome to or welcome back to my youtube channel i'm zaveria and i'm gonna be telling you guys and walking and show you guys through my wash day routine <gasps> oh my gosh i'm scared porosity and it's wash day i have definitely been pushing this back but i had a shoot this weekend so my hair is filled with product gel and mousse and just built up and i just took down my three strand twist as well so it is definitely time for a refresh a refresher <laughs> we need to detangle i like to detangle my hair outside of the shower because once i get in it's go time okay like the hot water be there, but the hot water don't last all day. They kind of section off my hair. Normally, I would do four big sections, but I kind of feel like I want to start doing one, two, three, four sections on each side of my head. So eight sections in total. This will definitely help, um, you know, make sure that my roots are being touched because that's the main thing. Whew. That's the main thing for, you know, a little porosity. If our roots are not being properly cleansed, then you might as well kiss your style, blah, blah, because it ain't going to turn out right. Detangling, I like to use my unbrush that I got from TikTok shop and then just a mister, a spray bottle mister. This is just water in here. And literally what I do, I just spray the section. And starting from um, end to root, you just brush. I love this brush because it really detangles my hair. Like, do you see how this brush is just gliding through? I'm not really having to go back over the same section. That is done. I just braid up or actually twist the section. Boom. Now just repeat this for your entire head. Now that my hair is completely sectioned off and braided, it's time to hop in the shower. I'm going to be using Reese Remedies, her shampoo and conditioner treatment. I love both of these. I've only used this once, but I'm using it again because it made my hair super, super, super soft the first time. And the conditioner treatment is very hydrating. I'm also going to be using her curl mousse for my flexi rod set so we'll see how that works my first time using the foam so i'm pretty excited take your acv give it a good shake and just it was at this moment that my water bottle decided to not work with me so i just opened her up and just started to pour my acv rinse on my scalp directly but if all fails you know you just have to improvise I felt that my hair wasn't setting up properly and that's because my scalp wasn't thoroughly cleansed. So after I rinsed out this first round of shampoo, I did go back in and shampoo again just to really get a deep cleanse. After shampooing, I went ahead and applied my conditioner. And you know what? I am not gonna wash my hair in braids again. I just really feel like I was not able to fully cleanse my hair, like from root to end. So I now know, now I know in future reference, I'm not gonna shampoo my hair while it's in braids again. I'm too deep condition. As you've seen, I already put in my deep conditioner, or yeah, I already put in my deep conditioner. To use my heating cap, 
I've had this for a couple years now. I got it off of Amazon. It'll be linked in my description box. But put this in the microwave for about, I put mine in there for like two, three minutes. And I keep it on honestly until it just is not warm anymore. But that should be about 30 minutes. So you put your heating cap on in deep condition for 30 minutes and then we'll be back. It is currently 37 a.m. I've been doing my hair for about two hours now, given I have been taking breaks here and there because my fingers are tired, okay? And also, I have been doing smaller sections than I normally do just because I want a lot of volume and I want, I want it to be dry tomorrow. I'm definitely going to have to go in with my blow dryer when I wake up in the morning, but that's okay. Um, completely used the entire bottle. <laughs> So, from my last little section, I'm just going in with my um, dew mousse or foam, whatever. I just take a piece. Just depending on how big you want these, definitely pull pieces according to your foam size. So, I have three different sizes that I've been using, but just depending on how big your piece is, is how um, you pick your size. So if I have like a super, super, super big piece, I would not use this one because the hair is going to um, be wrapped around too much and it won't, it'll take forever to dry. And then also, um, it'll just be too much hair on this little roller. So if you have a super, super, super big piece, I would use something about, wow. If you have a super, super, super big piece, I would use a size like this squirt the foam right at the roots and then go back in with my fingers and distribute it if you need to add more definitely add more I know this roller is in the way but just really make sure that you're getting your root after that I just saturate the rest of the strand like so You use your pointer fingers and you like squish the hair and you take your roller. I like to go under the hair. So you take it and go under and I like to wrap. I like to wrap it like so. And then the end of the hair is going to be behind the roller and you just tuck it under this piece that you're going to roll over it. And you twist and as you're twisting you want the hair to go up the roller like so and you keep doing this all the way up until the roller is at your scalp once you get up here if you already have rollers in it might be a little difficult but literally just twist and twist as tight as you can because you want that root to also get curly. After that, I just twist my foam roller however I want to, honestly. There's really no right or wrong. I like to fold mine in like this because when I lay down, if they're just sticking out, how am I gonna lay my head down, you know? So I like to fold mine in.
we are finally done and this is the outcome I'm gonna show you guys tomorrow um, when I take it down I like to start in the back because I know for sure the back is going to be dry so I just take one I take both ends like so pull it and then unravel it oof okay it's dry and you can either unravel it or twist it like this to preserve the curl. Ooh. See? That's not dry all the way. So I know these up here are not going to be dry. But look at it. It's so bouncy. <laughs> I didn't realize until that I'm editing that I did not finish recording um, the like the fluff out process on my camera but I did get it on my phone so there is going to be a perspective switch after taking down all of your flexi rods you then are going to go in and separate each and every curl okay probably not each and every single one but just until you're comfortable with how volumized your hair is voluminous is that the correct word <laughs> You get the point though, you just want to make sure that your hair is as big as you like. During this process, I also used oil to moisturize my hair while separating the curls. The oil that I used was also by Reese Remedies. Just make sure that you're taking your time separating your curls because if you rush during this process, your curls and your hair will come out frizzy. Now adding the final touch, I just go in with my pick. And starting at my root, I literally comb up just a little bit, not too much, just to fluff out the roots. Once you have separated and fluffed out your hair to your liking, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning into my video. If you are a little brassity girl, I would definitely say try this curl method because a flexi rod set is definitely going to be my go-to for the summer. Don't forget to subscribe for more curly girl tutorials and also comment down what other hairstyle that you would like me to do. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!